going by what the minister said, you, you saw her earlier on uh, really miffed and disappointed at uh, the attitude of some people within the region. Would you say that is the only place to put the blame on? I think I think this is one of the first time that we can have we we've seen a minister, a lady for that matter, going to as far as uh, brass. Uh, brass by water from Port Harcourt is about three and a half hours on speedboat, and you have to pass through those areas that are considered very fairy. Uh, I'm talking of places like Suku, places like Bile, places like Nembe. That you, once you hear the names, you shiver. For the honourable minister to have gone to that far, it means that. Uh, there is this new level of seriousness and uh, uh, I think maybe change, so to say. But the people's confidence needs to be rebuilt. Uh, so many other people that really want to help you come up. I, I ask myself, sometimes the oil companies, uh, the oil and gas companies, I think this place is, uh, brass area in particular is, uh, is dominated by our jeep operations. Uh, even if it is 100 meters every year that the oil companies are trying to protect every year from their budget as part of a community assistance project, assistance project uh, it will go a long way. But it's not only big towns like uh, big cities like Boni, like Brass, like Nimbi, like uh, Wari that are having these problems. The communities that are really having these problems are very, very small and they cannot be heard. We are not hearing them. But they have lost a lot. Both properties, uh, resources, uh, flora, fauna, some that we can never get back. You know, Professor Shane, I know you've done extensive work in that region and you know virtually all the communities there, but this time, away from the oil communities, what do you think the people can do to help themselves? The, the people themselves, they are also part of the problem. Let, let's, let's be frank. Uh, if the, the series of dredging activities going on there, deforestation to a large extent, even if it is for firewood, for settlements, uh, for communities and so on, uh, all these are like uh, contributory factors to these problems. And uh, uh, by the time uh, we now have the uh, ocean issues, uh, sea level rise, uh, some of the things that the, mini, the Honorable Minister mentioned, definitely we have uh, the accumulation coming up. But it seems the people, if, if, you, if, you, if you listen to the Honorable Chairman uh, uh, of uh, Brass local government, he's, he's not convinced that the government can do it, but we need to just have this trust. We need to trust ourselves and we need to believe that, well, we have a government that is really ready to do things different from the way we were doing it before. You, you know, talking about government quickly, let's see if we can bring Lagos in. Uh, earlier on, we saw Lagos uh, getting ready to clear the water hyacinth. How can this really help the waterway and the path? Don't forget that it was only recently we saw uh, uh, the Ogun River area dry up uh, as a result of water hyacinth and debris. Yes, the Ugu River problem is, uh, is just one problem just from the blues. The communities, I think when we were discussing it here the other time, the communities that are really suffering from this are some of the communities that have been mentioned. Uh, some of them are sometimes trapped, the fishermen are trapped for days, they can't go back to their communities after their fishing expeditions and so on and so forth. But good idea that we have the harvesters, uh, at least it's a means of mechanical clearing of the uh, seaweeds and so on and so on. Two questions we should ask ourselves. One, what happens to what is collected? Because a single seed can multiply so rapidly. Then number two, uh, the, the creeks, they link each other. If Lagos State is able to clear its own creeks, what happens to Ogun State? What happens to Abigi? What happens to Iwokmi? Then the water I think we should still go back to history. And, uh, the, the information is that the water I think actually came in from uh, Badagri Creek from the uh, Cotonou Republic. So there is need for this collaboration. As you are clearing your backyard, also think of your neighbor. Your neighbor should also clear his backyard. Otherwise, the problem with your neighbor will come back to your backyard. Professor Shonaya, thank you for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you very much.